This video is designed to assist you through video images in the installation of your stowaway in-wall ironing board. Before you begin, make sure that your board has all the parts listed on the parts list found on the opening page of the stowaway's instruction manual. Next, collect the tools you'll need from the tools list. Now that you have all the parts and tools needed to properly install your board, let's begin. Select a spot to install your board. We suggest a laundry room, bedroom, walk-in closet, or another room of your choice. In finding your perfect location, be sure to have an electrical outlet nearby. Or if you purchase the optional light kit, have a licensed electrician run an electrical line to the unit. Make sure you have enough space for the board to swivel a full 180 degrees. You'll need approximately 66 inches of clearance. As you finalize your location, keep in mind whether your door will open to the right or to the left. Now you are ready to prepare your wall for installation. First locate the framing studs in your wall using a stud finder. Measure 25 inches from the floor. Using a level, draw a straight line 14 and a quarter inches across from the inside of one stud to the other. This will put your ironing board surface at the standard height of 36 inches. The height adjustment feature raises the ironing surface to approximately 38 inches. If you would like a different height range for your ironing surface, adjust your starting measurement from the floor up to the bottom of the cutout. Using the horizontal line that you have just drawn, measure up 46 and a quarter inches and mark the height. This is the height of the cutout you will need to properly install your stowaway unit. Using a level, draw a horizontal line 14 and a quarter inches between the studs. Use your level to draw straight vertical lines connecting the bottom line to the top line. Your resulting shape should be a rectangle. Now use a drywall saw and cut along the outline, creating an opening between the two wall studs. If you are using a light kit sold separately, stop here and have an electrical line dropped to the unit by a certified electrician. Light kit installation instructions are found in the light kit box. Before you install your unit, you need to mount the hinges on the door and drill pilot holes in the unit frame. To mount the hinges onto the door, locate the marked slots on the back side of the door. Slide the hinge into the slot, laying the plastic part of the hinge flush against the back side of the door. Using two Phillips panhead screws, attach the hinge to the door. Repeat these steps to attach the second hinge. This is the point when you must decide if your door is right or left hinged. To drill the pilot holes, which you will later use to install the cabinet door, lay the door beside the ironing board cabinet with both hinges fully opened. Slide the door toward the cabinet so the hinges extend inside. Each hinge has two small stop guides that should rest against the front edge of the cabinet and stop the hinge from going farther. Mark the location of the hinges mounting holes on the cabinet frame with a pencil. Using a 3 32nd inch bit, drill pilot holes a half inch deep into the cabinet frame for each mounting hole. Do not attach the door at this time, as this will keep the unit lighter and easier to install. On the back of the cabinet door, mount the garment hook using two Phillips panhead screws. Place the garment hook two inches from the top edge and a half inch from the side edge of the door to ensure proper fit. Now you are ready to install your stowaway unit. Lift the unit using your legs, not your back, and place it in the cutout. Rest the ironing board cabinet on the drywall at the bottom of the cutout and tilt it into place. Drill Phillips drywall screws into the side of the unit, approximately one inch below the top shelf and one inch below the second shelf. Repeat on the other side. This will secure the cabinet to the studs in the wall. Now that the ironing board cabinet has been secured, attach the cabinet door by lining up the hinges on the door with the pilot holes in the frame. Attach the door to the frame with four Phillips panhead screws. Congratulations, you have just installed your stowaway in-wall ironing board. Now simply slip your cover and pad into place and your board is ready to use. 